eats. Yeah, this is cold. This is our tip. We got a tip. We got lift your arm up. Look, we got another tip of chips. Little bags of buffalo chicken dip by Lay's. Which Harrison's not even gonna wait. And then just some Clover Valley Ripple. Look at this. This is a nice tip. And some sanitizing alcohol wipes. We are set. Our customers are awesome. Also gave us Coke. Harrison will drink those. I'm not much of a Coke fan. But Buffalo Chicken Dip Chips? Definitely a fan. We have awesome customers. It's pretty good. We just wanted to share that with you. We're out working today. You may have noticed we've been gone for a little while. Uh, we've been a little ill. We got the virus, but we're coming back from it now. So we're out on the road. Have fun? No, I'm gonna fall in here. Hey Harrison, why are your boots orange? Because you put a septic tank in, your boots are now orange. Were you playing with spray paint? This time, we went to Jimmy John's and Jersey Mike's. We were supposed to have cheesesteaks, but somebody doesn't listen when people talk. So instead, we have Italians. Just however they came on the menu. Um, we got the 13 inch. How much was it at Jimmy, uh, Jersey Mike's? 15 dollars It was thirteen forty nine dollars at 16 inches. Though. For 16 inches at uh, Jimmy John's. And just by weight, the Jimmy John's weighs. I don't know, quite a bit more. I don't know. I'd say almost a, like half a pound more. Okay. So we're gonna try both of them, and then we're gonna tell you what we think. This looks kind of bland. Doesn't have any lettuce or anything. It's just meat. I guess, yeah, they came. They came like, now. Came oh yeah, that one's definitely. Better. Cheese steaks would have been much better. Okay, sure. I can't even get mine open. Now, he did cheat and go and get Miracle Whip at the gas station. Oh, they didn't cut this one, though. That's all right. We could take care of that. We'll cut it. Now, this one has lettuce and tomato on it. And oil. So, this is this one here. Show them yours. Kind of bland. Yeah, mine's got lettuce, mayo, oil. I mean, the ingredients are good though. Yep. You know for mayonnaise. This is pretty tasty. Mine's kind of bland. There's nothing on it. Try the, try the actual meat by itself though. Meat's excellent. This meat's pretty good. And the bun's good. Cut that. Sorry. It's got that hard shell. And it's soft and chewy on the inside. The shredded lettuce is good. Can I put anything on it? He doesn't need it. I haven't tried that one yet. In two minutes before he walked into Jersey Mike's. And all week, we've been discussing this for the video. I told him to get the cheesesteak however it came on the menu. He came out with the Big Kahuna Italian. No, it was just the Italian. Big Kahuna is like a Kahuna. Thing. You said that was called the Big Kahuna. Mm -hmm. I asked what the most popular sub was. Oh. But I thought that's what we were doing. The most popular sub. No, we were doing cheese steaks, but I got a, a tie. Yeah. Not the best though I ever had. Not bad. Fed, you can take that one. I'll take a. Did you take a middle piece first? Yeah. I swear. <laughs> I mean, they can't even get the toppings on the. And there's nothing on there to make it slide off. Yeah, it looks kind of dry. Some 
oregano or something on there. Mm-hmm. Okay, the bread is not nearly as good as the bread at Jimmy John's. Oh. But I will say the meat's like lighter. Yeah, the meat and cheese put a bit on there. This has like the foundation to be a good sub. And you have to junk it up with your own stuff. Which we didn't do. That was a good bag. The rating portion will come when we get back in the truck. This definitely needs a little Italian dressing. Why that doesn't come standard on their Italian, I don't know. Like it should come standard with. Wait, does this one have a. Uh... That has Italian dressing and mayo on it. I don't know if this one has pepperoni on it. Yeah, that would no, th- this one has pepperoni. That one has uh, all the other Italian meats on it. That one has an extra meat on it. No, it doesn't have an extra meat. It just has. It has ham, it's a ca- it's a capicola, capicola, and salami. This one has pepperoni, ham, just like regular ham, capicola, and capicola. So it's three meats on both. Yeah, I'm getting it for Jimmy John's for sure. It's bigger and cheaper. The and better. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, well, we can't do the rating course until we get in the truck. Neither people gave us napkins, though. Neither of them gave us napkins. You believe that? No, I think there were some napkins in the Jimmy John bag, actually. And Jimmy John's, we got the sandwich in like a minute. So they are a lot faster, like their commercials. This took at least 10 minutes to get. So. There's that bonus there. I think you get more meat on the Jimmy John's. And it's just better. Yeah. Yep. Not better meat, I'm sorry, it's just a better salad. Yeah. But that's, again, we ordered it just however it came on the menu. I'd say the meat on that, that one, this one's better. Yeah, you're right. Jersey Mike's is better. The meat on Jersey Mike's is better? Right on this. Once you does the mayo and Italian dressing on the Jimmy John or on the Jersey Mike's, you know, it helps. The lettuce and tomato would have been nice. This one's fine. Because there's a lot of stuff on it. And of course, Harrison never eats anything the way they send it to you. I'm surprised you didn't buy a bag of chips to throw out of the family. I think you should do that sub and then buy a bunch of different bag of chips. See what chips fit the best on top of the sub. Oh my goodness. You dropped something. All right, what happened? How did you get that I'm not as messy as you. I don't know, maybe Jersey Mike's thing is, you know, customizing it the way you want. I don't know. Since it didn't come with anything on it, you know what I mean? They are like sub you know, they have a variety of toppings. I will say, mayonnaise makes both of them, well, not mayonnaise, Miracle Whip makes them both better. I also like that uh, Jimmy John's doesn't have, like, the back of the bun is still together. Yeah. Uh, it just makes it seem more special. We could do other sub shops if you guys like this video. We were discussing maybe Penn Station and Firehouse subs. And we'd be comparing them. And then finding the overall one. We should have a So, Harris, if you remember what to order the five seconds before he walks in the store. Now I know. Yeah, hands down, Jimmy John's. Well, it's not even for discussion. We, we, we do that in the truck. Well, I just know what I'm going to say. And it's kind of annoying because this has a sub above. And it's not. This has nothing like that on it. What's just for 16 inch sub. 13. 13 for Jersey Mike's. Almost $16. What? Uh, Just under, uh, it was 13 and a half. This is a. Buck fifty cheaper. Right? 
No, it's only well, $3. Two, yeah. $2.50 cheaper. Oh, no, it's $3. Yeah. $3.50 cheaper. Three inches bigger than this. Harrison is so messy. Three inches makes a huge difference. That's what she said. Ha ha ha! Uh -huh. uh, glad to be back. Sorry we didn't get videos out for a couple weeks, but Harrison made us all sick. I did not. Can I get it mm -mm. No. I made that. He failed miserably. Pretty close. Cool. Oh. There's oh, one napkin, literally, oh, two napkins, literally two napkins, but they made sure they gave us a flyer for their BP black and blue. And it is the <laughs> no. Oh, I made one. Sorry, you guys didn't get to see that. It's not as much fun when they don't get to see it. Hang on. Hang on. Just do. Ready? Yeah. Horrible fail. Oh, Horrible. Okay. Like, subscribe, share. Um, that's the only way we're going to get more subscribers. And they will put our videos up on other people's feeds for them to see. So, Jersey Mike's, uh, Jimmy John's. Harrison's already rated it, so there's no sense going to the truck and rate it. Even though it's end truck food reduce, he kind of blew that. We're, I would give we're in pavilion right now. Yeah, we're in a pavilion, it so counts. I would probably give uh Jersey Mike's a solid five and a half for the price and the and the food. And then I would give Jimmy John's a seven. Yeah, that's your job. Yeah. So now <coughs> no? Without eating it though, what would you give Subway? See, I'd give Subway like a four and a half. And I think that's better than Subway. Yeah, oh I agree. Well though, but they don't have the cheese Italian urban cheese bread. See the Italian urban cheese bread. But you're just ordering it directly how it normally would come, which would be on regular Italian. So if you're ordering it just on the regular Italian. You know, this was just comparing it directly off the I don't the think menu. they have a different type of bread there. No. I don't think either, they, they either of them do. Neither of them do. Oh. Jimmy John's or that's just what they have. Where Subway does have choices, but it's Subway. Subway in general. I mean, I haven't been there since they redid their menu. Maybe it's better. Maybe we need to go to Subway. I don't hate Subway. It's convenient, but it's is it good? Work. What long? This is fifteen dollars for it. But that meat was fresh. An inch more. Yeah, I mean, like, the meat was definitely. I mean, the, the quality here is on both of those subs is premium. Yeah. You know, compared to your subway or your gas station subs. Then you just load up your subway sub with the veggies and the ingredients and sauces. All the, oh yeah. He gets all the sauces. The then he has onion. soup. Oh yeah. They're always watching. Now, the question you have to ask yourself, did the googly eye come out of somebody's butt? 